Every year, our local Children's Miracle Network Hospital spotlights five kids who've battled an illness or overcome an injury. They are called the CMN Hospital Heroes. This morning, meet our lacrosse hero, whose disease could have gone undiagnosed if not for his mother's amazing memory. Over the last year, nurses have started hundreds of IVs on Jonas Kugler. But when you're four years old, every poke is as painful and scary as the first. Every time. Jonas's mom, Christy, feels her son's pain in her heart. Every three months, she nervously watches as doctors sedate her baby and scan his tiny body for signs of cancer. I'm not a fan of the week before scans and until about three o'clock on scan days. It's, it's a little hard. I win. Cancer wasn't a part of the Kugler's vocabulary until last February when Jonas came down with the cold that just wouldn't go away. And I had remembered that about a month before he'd stuck a raisin up his nose and I'd pulled it out. But you know, you hear stories where a piece gets left behind in the sinuses and makes it, you know, so it can't get better. When doctors looked inside the then three-year-old's nose, they didn't find a raisin, but rather a tumor about the size of a pea attached to his septum. The uh, pediatrician on duty came in and she looked about ready to cry. <laughs> like, well, that's not good. I, I knew something was up and she sat down and said, I'm really sorry to have to tell you this, but your son has cancer. And um, not the words I wanted to hear. <laughs> Rhabdomyosarcoma is a rare childhood cancer of striated muscle. It's treatable, but the path to recovery is long and painful. There was just that time sitting next to his bed, looking at how small he was, three years old, and, and trying to reconcile why things like this are allowed to happen. To, to little kids who haven't done anything. And Doctors removed much of Jonas's tumor, but because of its location, couldn't get an all. Jonas received 24 weeks of chemotherapy. He lost all of his hair and most of his energy. Then came 20 days of radiation. Unable to lay still, Jonas had to be sedated for every treatment. The radiation was so powerful, he developed mouth and throat sores that bled. He would take a bite of food just something simple like bread and scream in pain and try really hard to chew and swallow, screaming, and then he would try again because he needed to eat. I left mommy off, see? The Kugler family says Jonas's positive attitude helped them get through the most difficult days of his treatment, as did their faith and the support they received from family and friends and Children's Miracle Network hospitals. CMN provided the Kuglers with food vouchers during Jonas's numerous hospital stays. Staff also made sure Jonas knew they were pulling for him. They were able to make it a much better experience because they always had something fun to liven up the room for Jonas and just to, you know, let him know that somebody cared and was thinking about him. Today, Jonas is in remission, but not out of the woods. Over the next two to three years, doctors will check and recheck his body for signs his cancer has returned. But six months after his last treatment, his doctor says Jonas looks good. No evidence of any tumor. Um, everything looks really clean. Everything looks great. Just like his hair, the energy and personality Jonas had before cancer are coming back. Now he is 50 million times more energetic and bouncing off the walls. And I'm so happy about that. <laughs> Needle pokes and IVs are now few and far between. And Jonas has time to play. Children's Miracle Network raises money for kids like Jonas year-round. On top of meal vouchers like the Kuglers received, the charity also offers families gas vouchers and helps them pay for medicine and equipment not covered by insurance. For more information on how you can help CMN hospitals help area kids, go to the website on your screen. And WXOW is proud to support Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. All of your money, every single dollar, stays local to help area kids. It's a great organization.